This is a Gathering History Project podcast recorded in the Louth County Museum in Dundalk, Ireland. I was born in uh, De La Salle Terrace near Castletown Road. It was like a little community within itself, like you knew everybody in the street and you knew, you know, within the vicinity as well and you went to different places as families. Families seemed to be very close. They seem to help each other a lot as well in different ways. More so than More than so they do than now. Of you don't, you know, keep yourself to yourself now. But in them days, I suppose it had its drawbacks in the sense that everybody knew everybody else's business, which was which could be which you know could be a bit overpowering at times. You know. But what What are your memories of growing up? My mother's name was Nixon, and uh, there's there was a lot of them around even even now. Quite a big family. Oh, that's always that end of the town as well, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. well, Max Sweeney Street my, my, uh, was where my granny lived, and my mother was the eldest of the family, and she had a lot of brothers, <laughs> and they used to look after my mother. <laughs> so, say for instance, now my brother, my uncles worked for I think it was just a GNR. My uncle, yeah. a lot of my uncles worked for them. Like say for instance if they got a, a, a bag of potatoes or something, they'd share it among themselves. They were very close like that. My father was a, was a dental technician by profession. Of course, there wasn't a lot of money in them days for... Yeah, he used to work with Tony Kieran. Do you know St. Patrick's? Oh, there yeah, was a, he was a dentist there. The over dentist over there, yeah. over the road. I think his name was Kieran. That's right. Uh, if the weather was good, we'd, my mother used to take the giant's as key. It used to be a train. That's right, went the green ore train. Yeah, in the street, went to Giles' yeah. Quay. And there weren't so many trains, so you had to watch the time. Yeah, when you'd be there. So yeah. many of the time we had to walk back because... The whole way the from train. Giles' yeah. Quay. You didn't think anything of it, yeah. You, you went over I went in over the, in the, in the 60s. 60s, yeah, and I was, uh, I was lucky, yeah. I did all right, yeah. I Mm. And, y- you know, there, there were so many Irish people at that particular time. That's yeah. when really the, yeah. the, the, the all the people went over, yeah. particularly men yeah. walking on the, on the roads and yeah. everything Especially over there. in Middlesbrough, there was a lot of, um, there was ICI and British Steel, and there were big pullers, you know, a lot of Irish went over mm. then, yeah. There was a lot, um, there was a, a big Irish centre in, uh, in Middlesbrough, but um, I never even got involved in that because... I believe that, you know, if you're, if you're in England, you, you mix with the English and you get on with, you know, I'm not one for, I used to think, well, there's no mm. English centre in the middle of Dublin, so, yeah, my father was from a place called Nairsborough in Yorkshire, near York, and uh, he, he had just one sister, and she's died, she's dead, well, she died, yeah. but um, that was where the family originated from, but also my grandfather my grandfather's side of the family they were from Dunlear in County Lowes and uh, um, that's where kind of the family roots are really between Yorkshire and Dunlear Help us make history by visiting our website on www.gatheringhistory.com